so in this uh, lecture session we will study it, the objectives of this uh, operations management followed by the system what is the operation man management system operations management it's a combination of two words that is operations plus management it involves planning organizing managing controlling and supervising the production and manufacturing processes so we can say that om is a core management activity which involves transformation or conversion of input into output the in, uh, output in the form of uh, goods and services so the raw materials are successfully converted into finished products operations man management plays a vital role in running any business or uh, project success successfully the main aims or uh, objectives of uh, operations management are customer service it means that uh, its uh, main goal is to utilize the resources of the organization to create such products or services that satisfy the needs or the demands of the consumers and by providing a right thing at right price at right time and at right place to the consumer second is resource utilization to make the best possible use of organization's resources to satisfy the needs or the demands of the consumer is the main objective second main objective of operations management this diagram explains the operations management uh, system uh, which converts the input into goods and services uh, by adding uh, value to it so we can say that the inputs like labor materials raw materials capital information then technology and energy are are used uh, together and transformed or converted into goods and services under controlled set of uh, conditions so operations management system also helps the business organization in taking decisions regarding organizational uh, profits uh, survival and growth uh, along with uh, uh, co coordination between all the departments so it also analyzes the product problems then develop the forecast or a new plans for new products and other projects as we know that uh, operations management uh, is a coordination of all the departments so its uh, scope or uh, nature is very wide as it covers the whole business organization so first one is forecasting so forecasting is the process of uh, anticipating the future the operations manager has to forecast the about uh, customers demand in advance so that uh, according to the demand production process can be carried out second is the capacity planning so capacity is also important issue for manufacturing as well as uh, service organization so it means maximum production rate of an organization and this it is related to the demand of a particular uh, product so here estimate of present capacity forecast of future capacity then identify the resources to meet the future capacity needs are to be looked after in this capacity planning then is scheduling so scheduling problem involves the allocation of various tasks and services and materials in order to obtain the desired result or we can say in order to convert the inputs into into outputs next uh, comes the quality and control that is important one so quality stands for the standardization or the we can say the characteristics of the product that is uh, required or that is to be produced so it depends upon the raw material also so various quality control techniques are used to maintain high quality standards then is the inventory management so it is we can say the vital or a core man management operations management activity so it's concerned with the the coordination of all the activities which are involved right from the purchase of raw materials and then the manufacturing pr process until it reaches the end user in the form of finished uh, goods we can say so it have so the various processes like uh, planning directing controlling and coordinating 
is required for a proper inventory management system then comes the production planning and control so production planning and control is important for uh, every organization whether it's a small or a large organization so formulation coordination and control of various manufacturing activities starting from uh, input process till the till getting the output is important in this stage so it also determines the magnitude of various input factors to manufacture the output as per our requirements then is the plant location so this we have already said that uh, location of a plant is very important for a successful running of a project or a business so it depends upon the proper location where transport facility easy availability of raw material should be there labor should be easily available then is the plant layout which refers to the um, physical uh, arrangement of various machines and other resources which are required uh, for uh, production or we can say which are required for uh, transformation of raw materials into finished goods then is the operations research so it's a technique which helps and providing a solution to various problems so it includes uh, like we have studied in the first semester of mba assignment transportation and network techniques like pert and cpm so these are very important for a successful business, uh, operations uh, management and last is supply chain management so supply chain management uh, is the management of all the aspects of providing goods to the consumer starting from uh, raw material to production and distribution to the final consumer importance of operations management number 1 better coordination so operations uh, management helps in improving the coordination between various departments of a business organization or we can say the, the coordination between various factors of production like uh, labor land technology or uh, capital is improved by operations management second is removing inefficiency uh, we know that uh, the reason main reason for business failures is due to the inefficiency in its operating or operations so uh, successful operations management system helps the business organization to remove or to identify uh, the inefficiency in its operations which can be eliminated then is the wastage re reduction so by following best methods in uh, converting or transforming the raw material into goods and services the wastages can be <coughs> reduced or eliminated next comes the operations management come uh, helps in improving the customer relations so a every activity in uh, operations management is committed towards producing and delivering the product or a service to a consumer at a right place at a right time and at a right price so this enables a better relation between the customer and the business organizations then is the value creation so it is the performance of actions that increase the worth of goods or services of a, any business so it creates so om helps in creating value addition so this also help in improving the image of the your business organization and the last one is improve productivity so productivity is the, basically the balance between all the factors of production so due to the rise in competition or rise in demand of the consumers the operations management work for improving the productivity which will lead to rise in profits with the rise in sales of the products